Hey golfers, it's Thomas Campbell, Master Club Fitter at Second Swing. Today I'm going to be comparing two of Titleist's models, the Titleist T100 and the Titleist T100S irons. There are similarities between these two irons, but there is one big difference. It is the loft. So the Titleist T100 has got 34 degrees of loft on the 7 iron, or the Titleist T100S has 32 degrees of loft. So there is a 2 degree difference. So this is an interesting topic because I know power specking irons is a great way to maybe pick up a golfer's a little bit more distance or maybe reduce their spin rate if we need to or vice versa maybe pick up a little more spin rate by playing a model that's got a little bit more loft on it. So this is going to be a very very interesting test between these two models. Um, not only are they different in loft but there is a little bit of a difference between the two of them. The T100S does have a little bit lower CG um, to make up for the loft differences. And then I guess like the camber, the sole around the uh, 7 iron with the T100S, maybe just a little bit larger to maybe make the club just a tad a little more on the forgiving side and maybe help with turf interaction as well. So we've got an exciting test today. I'm going to hit 10 shots with both the T100S and 10 shots with the T100 T and we're going to maybe compare some data and see the differences. For today's test, I'm going to be hitting with the Project X LZ 6.5 golf shaft. Um, I'm really excited to get after it, so let's hit some shots. Okay, so now switching to the T100S, the loft on this club is two degrees stronger, so I may expect it to go just a little bit further with a little bit less spin. Okay, so T100S. Let's take a look at numbers. So first thing you will notice is the club speed. The T100 club speed was 88.3. The T100S club speed was 89.6. So I was swinging just a little bit faster with the T100S. That was not intentional. Part of this testing process is I hit seven with each one. I came back and hit three more with each one there too to make it as unbiased as possible. But sometimes it is just a little bit harder, especially when you're maybe hitting something just a little bit further, getting pretty excited about the distance of a club. Um, so that's why it's important to take a look at smash factor. So a good way to measure the efficiency of both clubs. So smash factor, that is ball speed divided by club speed. So you'll notice the T100S smash factor at 1.45, T100 at 1.43. So a little bit higher smash factor with the T100S. That is because the club is two degrees stronger. Also because the club is two degrees stronger, the spin rate was a little bit lower with the T100S. An average 52.91, T100 average was 55.56. Now this is a little bit lower than I'm used to seeing with my seven iron. The T100 loft with the 7 iron is the same as my current 7 iron. So the important thing to take home from this is I was hitting in the exact same environment, the same golf ball, same golf swing. Results showed that T100S spins less than the T100. So that's probably the most important thing to take home from this test. Carry distance with the T100S 
191.3, carry distance with the T100, 182.8. I always like to say every three to four yards is about one degree of loft. So there is an eight degree difference in, sorry, eight yard difference between the two of them, two degrees loft difference. That was basically spot on, is exactly what I would expect. Um, also kind of interesting to take a look at that with regards to the loft, dynamic loft. So at impact, the T100S was 20.8 degrees. At impact, the T100 was 22.9 degrees. So that was about as robotic as I could possibly get there to show the difference in loft between those two clubs. Not intentionally, just swinging my 10 swings and what do you know, the dynamic loft was separated by 2 degrees. Uh, curve on the golf ball between both of them, basically both of them curving 11 to 12 yards to the left. So both are very good workable irons. Height 110 to 113 feet in the air, very, very good with regards to height. And landing angle at 48.8 and 50.2. So very, very good workable clubs, great stopping power with uh, with my swing, I was swinging a little bit faster than maybe some golfers may do. So it's always important to pay attention to that landing angle. Um, if that landing angle starts getting below 45 degrees, the T100S might be a little bit challenging if the spin rate is a little bit on the lower side there. Um, so important to pay attention to landing angle. Um, if we take a look at the dispersion pattern, you'll notice the white circle was just a little bit shorter up the screen. Then the yellow circle, yellow circle is the T100S going further, T100 is the white circle. Um, you also notice I got a great grouping of shots there, about eight dots very, very close together with the T100. And then you'll notice ever so slightly left with the T100S. Well, now we're talking very, very similar dispersion patterns between those two. Takeaway is T100S goes further than the T100. So I hope this can help you guys out a lot. Um, this is similar data that you will get covered when you come in for a club fitting at second swing. They will definitely take good care of you to make sure you get fitted for the right golf club depending on your characteristics. Um, so thank you so much for watching today's video. If you really like what you're seeing, subscribe to our channel. There's going to be plenty more good content coming this way in the future. Thank you. Bye.